Welcome back to Monster Jam Showdown. So, last episode, I neglected to remember I have the big air edition of this game, meaning I have DLC. I completely forgot about that. Or, I guess I didn't completely forget about it, but I kind of thought maybe I had to wait till August 28th when the game like officially comes out to play these trucks, but no. If we just scroll all the way to the end, we have uh, Maximum Destruction, the, the old design of Maximum Destruction. We have Backwards Bob, my favorite truck. I really wish I, I knew about this in the first episode, but uh, yeah, Backwards Bob, I'm just going to click play on, on him right now. Big Kahuna, NEA New Earth Authority Police, a bunch of cool trucks that came with the um, Big Air edition of this game. They actually come max leveled. I did not know that. All right, well, no reason not to play backwards Bob, I suppose. But yeah, we're going to continue the showdown tour. We're going to go... Mm, I suppose we could continue Alaska from last time. Oh, we have our first stadium events on the Alaska Stadium. We can do a head-to-head. -head. Sure, why not? In this mode, you'll face multiple challengers once at a time in a knockout tournament. Complete a lap of the trail before your opponent does in order to win the round. The trail to follow is indicated by the smoke bombs. Remember, if you lose, you can play the round again. Basically the same thing as a extreme head-to-head. -head. Look at all these fireworks, by the way. Why did they go so crazy with that? That almost seems like a bit of a fire hazard to have like that many that going that low in a stadium. I, I don't know, man. I don't know that I'd be doing all that, but let's try to get this... I did not get my perfect boost start thing, whatever it's called. That's all right. We'll, we'll just have to play good. Get these nice tight turns. Black Sundom Digger. <laughs> How are we still in second? It looked like we were ahead there. Maybe not. We'll see. Once we reach the finish line. Oh, yeah. First place. All right. Next round. Got backwards Bob versus zombie. Get the optimal range. We got we got some yeah, we actually did get the optimal range that time. Very nice. It does take more than that to win, but the optimal range does help with uh, just getting some nice boost. Like that. That's gonna be a win. Final round, backwards Bob versus Earthshaker. I just wanna say oh, <laughs> Wow, nice stoppy. Uh, I just wanted to say, I find it interesting how Backwards Bob has been in, like... Well, I guess he's been in everything since uh, Still Titans, right? Or no, Still Titans 2. So really just two games, but still, it's interesting that he's been in these games despite not being ran since... I don't even remember when. It's been probably a decade by now, right? Or close to it. But he's still in these games, and, you know, I, I feel like maybe that shows there's some demand. To have the truck back. I I'm just saying. Well, we do have another head-to-head -head in the Alaska Stadium. I kind of want to mix it up, though. Yeah, we'll come back to this head-to-head -head later, but for now, why don't we go to Colorado? Oh, if we go to Colorado Stadium, we can actually do best trick. So for best trick, we got to perform crowd-pleasing stunts, creating one spectacular combo. Get the highest score before the time runs out and climb the leaderboard. In this mode, the combo follows special rules. Once started, the combo will remain active and cannot be broken until the end of the race. The combo multiplier only increases by performing one of the stunts shown in the top right corner. These stunts also give a higher score, so try to perform as many of them as possible. Okay, Colorado Stadium! Everything is ready to kick off the most spectacular event of the day! Let the freestyle It always cuts off the announcer! They should really fix that soon. Okay, anyways, going into the event, what do we got here on the side? So we can do a donut straight away, get a 2x combo. Pretty easy stuff, there you go. Wait, do they have the announcer announce the entire event? <laughs> they do. Okay, so this is like classic Monster Jam games where you got Scott Douglas being like, amazing jump. Wow, what a donut. Another spectacle point, add some boost. Anyway, we need to go for a backflip here to get another 2x combo. Let's do that right now. Should have enough room to do that. 
Nice. Alright, drift. We could just sort of drift alongside. Nice. Landing should be super. Do you just have to do a jump and land at all? Is that all that is? That is all. Wow. Okay. The easiest possible stunt, I would say. Bigger. Okay. Is this bigger? That's like moderately bigger. It wasn't big enough, though. How about this? No? I'm, okay, surely this one, right? There it is. That's bigger. Okay, bigger jump. We could do two for the price of one on that. We're, we're killing this right now, dude. We're hitting all three, um... All three stunts at once. We'll get a landing here. Probably not bigger, unfortunately. Don't think we're going to have time to get bigger. Without a bigger ramp in front of us. Still... Very solid first big or uh, best trick rather. First place with the four hundred fifty-four thousand three hundred score. Backwards power blows away the competition and seizes victory. Oh yeah. What do we unlock over here to the left? We have a fr oh the first freestyle of the game. This is gonna be fun. Do we really even have to explain what a freestyle? I, I think you guys understand how freestyle works at this point. Basically, if you don't know, you get to do whatever. You just gotta do a bunch of tricks, get good combos. Kind of like best trick, but just you can lose your combo if you don't do anything for long enough. And in the pre-release version of this game, I got some pretty nice combos, I, I, I do have to say. We'll see if I can do the same here in the actual release version of the game. Did not mean to do a wheelie, but yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Just get up, please. Or we could do a sidewalk. Sometimes, yeah, that's the thing. When you fall over, um, you could do these sidewalls, which does help your combo until it doesn't, like right now. And that is going to be the end of our combo. But yeah, that's one thing about Steel Titans 2, which is the previous Monster Jam game. They made it where once you get to like a 10x combo, your combo's gonna go away very quickly if you don't do anything. Like, you have probably two seconds to manage to do any other kind of trick. Whereas, in this game, there's really no... How should I say it? Once you have a combo, um, you have a solid maybe, like, five seconds to do another trick at least. Maybe more than that, I, I would say. That kind of enables you to do bigger combos overall. You know, I'm gonna go for a backflip. This is ill oh, No, I should not do a backflip. That was a bad idea. Never mind. I, I gave up mid backflip. I was like, no, this is not going to work out. I'm going to turtle if I do that. We did get overtime. I don't really know how overtime works. I assume just if you have... Um, actually, no, it's if you have a combo going. That's how that works. If you have a combo going, you get to continue. Whoa, don't go in the audience. Dude, no, I lost my combo. That would have been a winning combo if I kept that, but I... Oh, no. I went into the stands. Oh, we got to replay this. Oh, you can actually... I forgot about this. You can uh, watch your freestyle back from a cinematic point of view. It's pretty nice. You can take some photo mode pictures if you want. Yeah, whatever, zombie. Oh, no, not the dab, dude. Not the dab. So yeah, that's one of the victory poses in this game, is the the infamous dab. There there it is. And I know we had we had Megalodon in the first episode do the actual zombie victory pose, this thing. But then when we actually had zombie win, now he's just dabbing, like what? That's dumb. Anyways, second attempt here with the backwards bob. Might have to turn off the commentator. That's something I had to do in Urban Assault, I'm pretty sure. I would, when I did my playthrough of that. What kind of bicycle is this? That did not make physical sense. Oh no, whoa, what in the world? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, commentator. <laughs> what did I just do? I don't know if you consider that a front or a backflip, considering it's back as Bob, but dude, <laughs> just off the ground, not even off a ramp I did that. By the way, you don't want a turtle in this game, which is when you fall on your roof and you can't get back up. Because if you do that while you have a combo going, 
you will lose your combo. I don't just mean like lose your combo as in your combo ends. You actually lose the points you would have gotten for that combo. And we're in first place. So say you had a winning combo going, like, you know, you had 10,000 times 10, it would get you first place. Sometimes it's a good idea to just end your combo there and like, you know, stop your track, let the combo end. But if you want to be extra risky, you can keep it going. Just try not to turtle your truck. Donut! Scott Douglas will be proud. Now we have another best trick. This is just going to be the stadium freestyle type event episode. Alright, we gotta get a backflip. I don't know if this is a big enough ramp! It counts, alright. I didn't even really land on my little, all my four tires, but we'll take it. Some big air. Whoa. Alright, we don't have wheelie right now. Let's not be doing that. No! Does it... That should count as a back... If the other one counted as a backflip, surely that one should. Aw, oh, man. Oh, that one counted? What? Okay, sure. That counts as a backflip. The other one doesn't. Just need 4,000 more points to win. One more trick should do it. Just go for a backflip right now. Oh, we don't have enough room to go for a backflip, but we did get the... I didn't even see what we got. Whatever the third one on the list was. Oh, we could just do the backflip ramp. That'd probably be the easiest way to do a backflip, wouldn't it? Yeah. We didn't get it, but... Still first place. It's interesting we still haven't gotten any new trucks. We haven't unlocked one truck this entire series. Maybe this will be the one in the Colorado Freestyle Clash. This really is going to be, like, only stadium events this episode. Which, I mean, I'm, I'm good with that. You gotta love the good old stadium... Classic Monster Jam stadium event, but... No, that is a turtle right there. We're gonna lose our combo for that. <laughs> Somehow managed to do a backflip off of that very small ramp. Right, stop you. Could just do stop the end of wheelie. What is the whoa? That was straight up a wheelie donut. Like, I know we've done that before in Monster Jam games, but we held that for a good moment. <laughs> that, honestly, that seems to happen sometimes in this game. Where you just kind of get the momentum to do a wheelie donut. But that one lasted for a good moment. Wow, we're still in 7th? I guess we haven't been keeping our combos going, have we? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Um, we need to get one huge final combo. All right, we have our time. We have our combo going. We need to make this a big one. Sky wheelie. Land into a wheelie. Okay. Be careful, backwards, Bob. Do not want to turtle at this point. We would lose our, our combo. Okay. That's still a wheelie. Can I get a bicycle here? How was that not a bicycle? <laughs> I did the bicycle ramp, it just didn't send me into a bicycle. Got fourth place, that's not good enough. We'll try again. Our problem last time was we just could not keep a combo going. If we could, uh... You know, link combo after combo successfully. Should be good to go. Whoa? What just happened? <laughs> the game froze. Also, my controller is vibrating. Just constantly. I was doing so good, too. I had an 11x combo. Oh, man. That is the first time I've heard that commentator finish the whole sentence at the start of the event. Like, literally every time he's gotten cut off, but he managed to finish that one sentence. Good for him. Just hold that wheelie, nice. 
We might be able to mad scientist flip this. Hang on a minute. Oh no, we didn't do it. Do not turtle. Sidewall, sure. That did not count as a sidewall. <laughs> what a bounce. Is it just me, or are we picking up a lot of velocity from the sidewall right now? Oh yeah, it kind of stopped, but we were going at max speed. Yeah, no, it really does look like we're going pretty fast there. Alright. We need to make something big happen on this last combo. We only have 42,000 points. That's terrible. But all it takes is one solid combo to win. That's one thing I know. We can make this happen. Okay, we can just get another jump. Turn that into a sky wheelie. Nice. Just keep doing jumps. Do do jumps into donuts. That's the way to do it. Donut. And go back to doing jumps. Pretty much an unbreakable combo if we just keep doing this. Okay, that's bad. That might be the end of the combo. No? Whoa, what a wheelie. What a save. Nice. Give him that pogo. Bicycle. Well, I'm imagining 20,000 times 27's gotta be enough to win. I believe that does add up to quite the total. Yeah, no. 593,111. Very good combo. That's what I'm saying, though. It only takes one combo to win. If you just get one really solid one. Definitely not something you could do in Steel Titans 2. You could, if you were that far behind in Steel Titans 2, where you're in last place and you only have one combo to go on your freestyle, no, you're not catching up. There's no way. Well, with that, we have finished up all we can do in the Colorado Stadium. Next episode, we'll move on to another region. But for now, that's going to do it. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Monster Jam Showdown in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.